Hey everyone, it's Tori from Calypso Creative Planning and for today's video I'm going to be doing a tutorial that's kind of like a behind the scenes look at how I load my sticker sets in GoodNotes and keep everything all aligned and looking nice and neat. Um, this comes from a question I received after a Reels video that I posted on Instagram. So I thought I'd answer the question and show you how I do it and like get some work done all at the same time. So stay tuned if you're curious. Okay, so last last Friday, yeah, last Friday, I released this new Kiss Me I'm Irish collage sticker set, and it's super fun. If you have not seen this yet, go check this out because I just love it. But it's all these fun like paper collage style elements that you can get really creative with and have a lot of fun with. But one thing that I felt like I was missing is some functional stickers because you guys know that I love to use decorative and functional stickers and I honestly can't imagine planning without functional stickers and since these aren't my usual colors I mean like they're just I don't do a lot of greens I felt like I was really missing some of those functional things and let's see I have an example let's see so here's an example of a spread that I did using um, this this collage set. I created this and I used some of the um, block elements to kind of create some functional stickers. And I used some other functional stickers from another shop that I just really loved and thought it would go really well with this. But I wanted to have more of like these matching colors in a functional set. So... I thought let's do a mini kit bundle. So if you haven't seen my mini kit bundles, they look like this. This particular one, this is the one I created to go with this set. And it's, I have to check them, I'm still recording. It's like such a fear of mine. It's like, I will not be recording. Okay, so the way my mini kit bundles work, I've got so many questions about these and I swear I'm not the best at like explaining how awesome I think these are, but let me, let me try. Let me try. So the way these functional sets work is it's just a full page of functional stickers in different colors that are great for mixing and matching with stuff like this. So I love functional stickers, love them. I cannot plan without them. Um, but I've heard some people say, well, what's the point? They're all the same stickers in different colors. But I mean, that's like kind of the point of functional stickers is you want to have like these basic functional elements that you can mix and match with different things. And so, so that's, that's kind of like the point. Um, I had an example, maybe I can find it. Oh, I don't know if I can't find this fast, then I will, I will fast forward and just skip, skip ahead. But I had this example of of how like you can use one of these functional mini kit bundles and do like a bunch of different things let's see if i can no oh, we're gonna put this okay um how you can take like one functional kit and create like a bunch of different spreads i saw this in here the other day so i know i have it somewhere um, I shared it in my Facebook group, so I know that I have made this graphic more than once um, because I lost it the first time. Um, but you can take those same basic elements and either just straight up just use those or mix and match with more decorative things and get completely different looks. So I really find that these functional mini kits are super versatile. What is happening? Where is this? 
Do you guys have this problem? Like, why are you not loading? Dropbox. Okay. I know I have it, but I just want to show you this example. I clearly have not prepared. Ha ha. Ha ha. Okay. So let's see if I can. Okay. So this is from my spooky glam, um, collection. And I used the mini kit bundles to create completely different spreads. So this is just using the mini kit bundles created this spread and this spread and this spread using literally nothing but well aside for the mini calendars there but using the mini kit bundle so you have all these functional pieces that you can mix and match and do different things with this one had solid colors and some patterns so i had both in there but that's just like a fun example of how you can use the mini kit bundles and create completely different looks using these fairly simple stickers. So I'm going to have to go back and find this. Clearly I was not prepared. Okay. Oh, no, no. There you go. Okay. So for this tutorial, now that I've sort of given you like this little history of the mini kit bundles. Um, I shared a reels video on my Instagram the other day of, okay. Of my star rating sticker book. Okay. So here's the sticker book. And someone asked me how I got all of these things to line up so nice and neat. And I mean, I think I did a pretty good job of, you know, because these are all these are all individual stickers. So if you haven't seen this star rating set, that's, that's what this is. So someone asked me how I got everything so nice and neat whenever I was loading it in. And I briefly, very, very briefly explained that I take the PDF of the designed sticker book and I load it into GoodNotes and then I place the stickers on top of these elements on the image pages and load them all in. Then I cut and paste them to a blank page. So that's a really simple explanation, but I thought that I would give you guys an example of that. So it's kind of like a tutorial. So if you're looking to, maybe you're a shop owner and you know, we're all in this together, even if we are technically competitors, but whatever. Um, if you're looking to create some functional sets like this to kind of go along with, you know, some, some other decorative set, or even if it's a decorative sticker book, I'd still do this process for my decorative sticker books. But this is a PDF of the sticker book that I have designed, and it's a combination of Affinity Designer and um, Microsoft PowerPoint. Honestly, there's several different ways you can do this. That for this particular set, that is what I did. Some of my other ones, um, I use Affinity Publisher and um, Affinity Designer for clipping out stuff, um, clipping out the individual stickers. I have played around with the idea of creating like a template for these sticker sets or just another sticker set, just something in general, um, and putting it in my shop so that you could buy these templates with a commercial use license and make them your own. And it would come with a little tutorial more in depth in this one of how to use them, how to create them in Affinity Designer, how to clip out your individual sticker images, how to load them into GoodNotes and set them all up. So if that's something you guys are interested in and would like to have that pre-made sticker kit template thing, I don't know clearly that I need to work on the name of it, but if that's something that you guys would like to see in the shop so that you can buy that and customize it, even if you're not looking to turn around and sell them, even if you just want to make something, you know, just playing around and make something just for you. If, if you're interested in that, let me know. Cause I've been playing around with that idea, but okay. So here's my setup. This is the PDF. This is Dropbox over here. This is good notes over here. So I've imported the PDF in, and I don't know if you've noticed this, but if you, let me start here. If you drag the PDF into GoodNotes to import it, the title is all 
lowercase and it says dot pdf at the end that bothers me i don't like it it bothers me but if you come over here to dropbox and say save to device and import into goodnotes or open in goodnotes whatever it says let's see yeah open in goodnotes then it comes in with the title nice and neat however you planned so if you've noticed that that's what's happening yes it's easy to just drag and drop into um into goodnotes but if the title thing bothers you that's how you can avoid it. That's a little, little side note there. All right, so what I'm gonna do, there's nine pages in the set. So obviously, we are not gonna sit here for nine pages. That is ridiculous. You are not gonna wanna do that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go through, I, I'll probably do this whole page, just so you can see how to do it. Um, but that'll just give you an idea. Maybe I won't even do the whole page. We'll see how long it takes. But okay, so what I like to do, Kind of like messed around with this process several times so here's my pages these are the reference pages so these are all like if you click on these that you can't get anything because this is it's just a picture it's the pdf with this design on the page right and then i always have like a blank page and i've started adding um i've started adding like a, a resource link page in here so that just goes at the end or well at the beginning it just depends so what i like to do is i'm going to pull this down here so that this is in the end going to be my first page and i'm just going to shift this over here this is our blank page so i need nine of these right so that's one i'm going to say two three four five six seven eight Nine. Yes, I can count. Okay. <laughs> okay. So now what I do, and the reason why I turn my iPad like this is just because it makes it even, even though this is a vertical page, it makes it easier to have this over here. So I zoom into about this, this much. Usually like to have like this long sticker as my reference. Okay. So I'm going to go to page one and Oh, well, I guess I did rearrange these. So this is page one. So, okay, let's go with this one. Okay. Now you can name these. I didn't for this particular set, but you could. But what I'm going to do is I just pull these in and then I can just resize this and line it up. It doesn't have to be perfect, but if you guys follow me, you know that I tend to be a perfectionist even when it is just ridiculous sometimes. So that is just up to you how perfectionist you want to be. So literally you just come in here and I'm going to put these in place. And sometimes these things come in really big and other times they come in really small and there seems to be no rhyme or reason. And I don't really understand that, but you know, it is what it is. I tried to layer these in Affinity Designer. So whenever I slice them all, they would be um, in order of how they go on the page just because that's easier. Another thing you could do would be to actually name them, um, but I did not name my layers so that I guess you could say that's part of the problem, but it's just up to you. So I'm going to, I, I wonder, I wonder if I can talk my way through this entire page with you guys without you losing your minds. We shall see. But this process has been working for me and I've tried other things. Like this is not the process I used in the very be beginning when I first started my sticker shop. Is that this big long one? No, that's this one. Um, so at one point I did a thing where I did like my grayed out backgrounds for each of the stickers and that gave me like a location to place them and sometimes let's see at one point I did I did a thing where I just had it up on my computer screen where I could just see how I had laid out the pages and then just kind of place everything 
like accordingly but it just kind of just depends on what works for you all these email notifications um but this system has just it's been working for me and it's an easy way for me to go through and load everything and i can you know design the sticker book separately and just import it in and load all this stuff and it just works i'm not saying that this is the only way to do it i'm not saying that this is the right way to do it i'm just saying that this is the way that it's been working for me and it just makes it super simple to like deal with my perfect perfectionist tendencies and not lose my mind by the way these little ones sometimes you might want to zoom in because goodnights has a, has a tendency to like stretch these out and be weird and i don't know why because sometimes it'll be like it wants to make these into ovals or these little skinny ones especially like it wants to make them like I don't know, like weird shapes. I've had that happen before. So that's just another little tip there for you. Um, this little guy. But yeah, like I said, there's no right or wrong way to do this. This is just what's been working for me. And I thought that you guys might enjoy this behind the scenes look. It's, you know, it's one of those tedious parts of the process. I know some shops don't like doing the good notes files on I mean I'll be honest I don't like doing the good notes files but I can't imagine not having the good notes files because I'm not one of those people that that just pulls straight from Dropbox like this to use things one because I spend so much time designing my sticker sets kind of like as a whole as the sticker book that you know I I feel like you know it I just appreciate my effort that went into it because that's how I designed it. But for me, this, I can't view things this way. Like when I'm coming up with like something creative to do in goodness, when I'm creating like a spread or something, this doesn't register creatively with me. And I don't know why, but when I'm looking at a sticker set that either I've designed or someone else has designed in good notes, it's like there's been thought put behind it. So like when I design these, like there's thought that I put into like what goes with what on the page. And like I have reasonings. They may not make sense to anyone, maybe not even to me other than like I just like that the way it flows or that these stickers go together. So for me, this gives me more creative inspiration for creating spreads like this one. Well, it's a little slow, like this one, than if I was just pulling from here. You know, I don't know if that makes sense the way I'm explaining it, but it's just, I don't know. I feel like using the GoodNotes files and like seeing stuff together on a page in my in my brain it just feels like it works to inspire creativity more than if i'm just pulling from here like this does nothing for me you know because i mean i can even show you this collage set and it just it just does nothing for me in a place like dropbox or if i had put stuff on my ipad and pulled from a gallery or camera roll or whatever the whatever that's called. I'm trying not to cuss so much, you guys. Um, but so that's one reason why I use good notes files for my sticker sets because they just work because for example, this is kind of like a weird tangent, but I was just trying to talk my way through this. So this sticker set, if I were to look at this on Dropbox, like this is what I'm seeing eventually when the icon show, well, why is that happening? Why is that happening? Do you guys have this problem? See, that's one thing that bothers me. See, okay, there you go. So this, this is all nice and well and good and everything, but this, seeing it this way, does not spark creativity for me. It just doesn't. Seeing it this way does. So, I mean, if this is how you like to plan, if you like to come in here and, and come from like, you know, from, Dropbox and drag straight into your planner spreads 
and just start building a spread. Okay, well maybe this will be my spread for today because that's really fun. But like if that sparks creativity for you and that works for you, go for it, do it. You know, but if that doesn't, like use the good notes files, you know? Like it just I don't know. I mean, I say it doesn't spark creativity, but yet I'm over here like like creating something, but it just doesn't it doesn't work the same for me, you know, as something like this. Like this as like, oh, well, I like how this looks with this and this with that and and this goes good with it. You know, like that just does something for me. But maybe that's just me. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think of that. Like, how does that work for you? What does that make you think of? Uh, which is your preference? Whatever. Okay, so these are all loaded. And you can see that, you know, these are all individual stickers now. So what I'm going to do is I've got my image selection turned on. And I'm just going to select everything. And I'm going to say cut and I'm going to go to this blank page and I'm going to, ah, oh, dang it. I forgot one. I forgot one. How did I forget that one? Where's that one? Where is that one? Did I forget that one? Okay. Well, clearly I think I've forgotten a sticker. Did I miss it? Okay, I'm gonna have to go back and check. Okay, this this sticker set comes out today. Um, well, I mean, it's not today for me, it's today for you. Um, so I'll, I'll go back and double check that. Th there won't be a missing sticker <laughs> when you get it. But I think I did forget one, because I don't see that one. Did you guys see that one? Oh, like you're gonna answer me, whatever. Right there, I don't. Yeah, I don't see it. I don't know how that happened. Okay. So anyways, I'll get that done, but that's how, that's how you do that. So you would lay all your stickers out and then you cut the images and then you paste it onto this blank page. And then I go back and I delete this page so that it's done. And then as I do each of these ones, I'll just delete the reference page and it'll be done in here. I mean, this would probably make me look a little bit better and more professional if I didn't forget a sticker, but you know, I'm not perfect. So, you know, this is what it is, but that's, that's the general gist of how I load my sticker books and get them all nice and neat. This is the system that I've come up with after, you know, how long have I been doing this? It feels like forever at this point, although at the same time, it doesn't. I don't know, that's weird. But this system works for me. That's how I can keep things nice and neat. That's how I don't lose my place. And yeah, so that works for me. I've got to go fix that other sticker and finish loading all of these. But I mean, that's the general gist of how I load my sticker books. And like I said, I do it the same way if I'm doing, like this is my new, um, my current featured collection. I do the same thing for this. Like it's set up the same way. I have a PDF of this file and I load all the stickers just because it makes it easy for me to go through and like place everything on the pages and be done with it. And like, it's just easy and it becomes like a mindless task that I can do and get it done. I can sit there in the living room and watch TV and just do this and you know, just, just chill and get this done. And if I'm doing like a whole collection, like for example, my April collection is in the works right now and the early access bundles will go out, was that next week? Dang, okay, so next week. So one thing I like to do with that is I'll do all the designing and get all those done, everything like clipped and loaded on Dropbox and everything. And then once it's all done, then I'll sit down and I'll just do all the GoodNotes files. And, you know, if it gets monotonous, then I'll s split that up over a couple evenings or something. But it's just an easy, it's an e for me, it's a super easy way to do this. I mean, that's just super easy to just drag it, place it, and be done. Right? Okay, so I hope that helps. I don't know how long this was. I hope I'm still recording. Yes, still recording. Okay. Oh, it's like a, like a fear. Okay, so hope that helps. 
And if you have any other questions like this, let me know. Um, I know I get a lot of questions. Uh, well, not a lot, but I, from time to time, I get people asking me like to show like creation videos for how I design a planner or design this and that from start to finish. And I would love to do that, but I feel like I'm not really in that place yet because I feel I feel like if I get to the place where I'm teaching all those techniques then I'm not going to be focusing so much on creating a bunch of stuff to sell in my shop and I'm still really enjoying that creation part um, because I feel like if I start giving away my secrets then you know people can go and do that and they, they're not going to buy from me and I'm not going to have as much time to design and create stuff and I just really really want to still be doing that but if I get to that place where I start creating um, essentially like online classes for creation of stuff like this um, it won't be a YouTube freebie it would be like an online class or maybe even like a Skillshare class or something like that um, but don't don't stop like asking for those things because you know at some point I'll do that. At some point, that'll become a thing. And like I said, if you're interested in getting a kit, like a creation kit for something like this, or even a creation kit for something like, you know, like one of these sticker books. Um, so it's not just the functional stuff. There's some decorative stuff in there too. If that's something that you want and you want a template for something like that, let me know because that has been on my list. And if there's enough interest in it, I will create those kits for you. Um, even stuff like like this. This is a really fun kit. Kit. It's just you know like quotes, and I love these. And you know that I think that that's that's just really fun. So if you want a kit like this, any of these, if you want them as a kit, that is something that I am interested in doing. And those would come with video tutorials as a part of the kits. So. Let me know if that's something you're interested in and I might just put that in the shop. Um, add that to my ongoing list. So um, since I am recording this early, by the time this video comes out, this sticker set will be in the shop and you can get this along with some brand new quarterly planners that will be hitting the shop today, the day that you're seeing this on Friday. Um, so head over there, check that out send me comments, send me messages. And, um, yeah, so my next priority is sending out messages to my brand new PR team, notifying people who made it onto the list. So by the time you see this, people will know, but I've got to go send out those messages right now. So that's exciting. Yay. We're going to do a team challenge and everything. So you guys will get to see that. So, okay, that's enough. I'm out. I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.